is going on guys it's Waf here welcome back to some more jurassic world last time we left off we started building our roller coaster over here and as you guys can see it uh, it has some pretty good progress i guess i could show you guys what i've done thus far and then we can do a little test run on it so uh, of course this is all the same this is all the same let's just go all the way over there to where we're actually getting some pretty good changes going on so over here you know it went up and down up and down and up and down a little bit more each time i changed this last one to where like originally i had it planned to go all the way around the uh the new uh i guess coelacanth expansion i guess i had it planned to go all around that and then uh, i was just like you know what I got a lot of comments saying that it should go like inside the aquarium itself. So here it is right here. Let's, uh, let's see. Can we like jump up there? Uh, ah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Uh, oh, oh, there you go. Got it. All right, so we're here and then we can just go inside of here. I didn't want to make it go inside the actual aquarium itself because that would be kind of, it might get in the way of the actual fish. So I decided, uh, why not why not raise up the uh, the aquarium itself? Make a little bit more room for the uh, for the railway to go through or the roller coaster. And uh, yeah, the only thing is is that we have this little bit of wood up here above your head if you're like walking under this uh right here but that's not that bad if you can just casually just casually ride under all this water like that it looks pretty cool i'll tell you that much let's try and parkour back up onto that oh uh, yes yes no <laughs> oh man I, this is so weird doing parkour with this power suit like this where you just jump like 15 blocks without a care in the world there you go all right so uh, you guys can already, uh, probably already see that it goes into the T-Rex cage itself. You guys wanted me to put it, uh, make it go through the T-Rex cage as well, so here it is. Uh, I had to make it go up a little bit right there, because uh, I originally had it go up like to the to the top block right there, but it started suffocating like uh, one or two T-Rexes that were over here, so I had to make it go up one more extra block, just so none of these T-Rexes would start suffocating. And then over here is as far as I got with the, uh, with the railway right now, or the roller coaster, or whatever it is. Uh, Oh yeah, there's that little chicken down there. Now I got some comments saying to name him like various things like like Nugget. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why you guys want me to name him Nugget. I also got some for like Colonel Sanders and of course like Star Wars names like like I don't know Luke Skywalker right there. I got a couple of those and then of course like Jedi Chicken like I said and uh, and a lot of other ones. But I really do, <laughs> I really do like the savagery of naming that chicken Colonel Sanders because I think in a really early episode maybe maybe not that early but in an episode a long long time ago maybe in a galaxy far far away. Too. <laughs> I mentioned how I like named uh, Beefy, you know, Beefy the Cow Beefy and, you know, Steaky the Cow Steaky. And I was just like, what if we just had a chicken named like Colonel Sanders or something? It's basically the same thing. But we do have some extra name tags. Uh, I do happen to have five levels too. Wow, look at that. So we might as well name him Colonel or what is it? Call Sanders? I think Call is the is the short of Colonel. So let's just uh, Sanders it up right there. And now it's Colonel Sanders. All right, there you go. Man, my inventory is still completely full. It's a complete and absolute mess. Where'd he go? Where did Colonel Sanders go? Where'd he go? Oh, oh, he's, oh my God, he's talking to Stakey over there. Oh, do I still, yeah, I still have my uh, leads. There we go. Let's get him out of there just so we don't get stuck. There we go. All right, let's grab that lead and let's name him Colonel Sanders so we don't <laughs> despawn. Why am I like Steve again? I have a Steve hand right there. Hmm, I don't know. Either way, I guess we might as well give this roller coaster a nice little test run so let's just put it down on put the minecart down on a track and press w and let's go forward so this is what you'll see if you're riding the roller coaster you get a nice little view of all the carnivores the, the villagers hanging down down there you even see the t-rex is over there you go down here and then you go fly through the oh what why is this not working hmm hmm now that's interesting i might have to fix that uh do i have enough yeah i have enough block i surely i could fix that like right now right uh, let's get our minecart out of the way that worked in my test run before i started recording why is that not working now hmm that's really weird is it because uh i don't know what if we put another power block right there is that going to give it enough power let's see let's, let's test that one real quick before we put another rail down there oh whoa <laughs> million mile an hour modular power suit over here let's get our minecart and let's place that down like that and let's give this thing a nice little test run let's see if it goes fast enough I don't know why it's like all of a sudden, uh, oh, yeah, oh, whoa, 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 nasty lag right there, whoa. Hmm, I wonder if that was nasty lag at first. Hmm, either way, we're riding over here, we're going up and down and up and down, and then we're going to go down into the water over here. This looks really cool, it's probably going to look pretty cool whenever we have all the, all the fish over here, you know, the coelacanths and the tyosauruses as well as all the, like, kelp and all the coral and all that, but we're riding over here above all the T-Rexes now. It's looking fantastic, look at the view, and you can even see the villager market over there. Maybe we can work on that villager market here in a bit. Wait a second, what? What? Did, 
Hold on a second. What is that? What is this? The ender thermal pump slab? What? What? What happened here? Is, is there like a glitch? Because I'm, I'm Steve and now there's like thermal ender pump slab things here now. What? And it's... I, <laughs> I don't even know what's going on right here. I don't even... Okay, I seriously don't even know what, like, why these are here, how they're here, why it's only happening to, like, random bits over here, I have no idea. But what's going on over here? Why are they freaking out? Is there, uh, something? No, I don't, I don't, I don't see why they're freaking out. Okay. Man, that's weird. I guess we'll just get rid of these, replace them with their respective blocks. And, man, that is super weird. Some really spooky stuff is going on right now. So let's get rid of all this random ender whatever's over here. And hopefully there's not more random- Oh, I don't want to accidentally hit you, villager. Or else every T-Rex in the universe is going to gang up on me and are <laughs> gang up against you and then lag the game out. So let's see. Uh, hopefully there's no more. Oh, there's an ender thing like right there. Can we get rid of that one without upsetting every villager in the universe? Oh, there we go. We got it. Oh, okay. What about this one? Okay, that one seems fine. That one seems fine. And there's so many villagers right here. I can't even see. I can't even see. Okay, I think I, think I might be fine. Gee. All right. Well, uh, ooh, I hope no villagers get stuck inside there. Wow, these are oh, completely and utterly open. All right, so let's go grab our... Now, I don't... I, I really don't even know. What is this even for? What is the recipe for this thing? Uh, recipe. What is that thing? What is this thing? Ender infused obsidian extra. It's from extra utilities. It seems decently cheap, right? Yeah, it seems decently cheap. What do you use it for? Hmm. I don't know. I guess I'll have to look it up. Maybe this is a sign from Notch himself saying that I should uh, try out these thermal pumps or whatever, but I'm just going to throw them away because they seem like they're glitched in or something. So let's see. Uh, what were we going to do? Oh, yeah. We're going to get the jungle. We should still have some jungle like vertical slabs oh we still have the saw so i guess we can just cut these in half if we really need to and i don't No, we have them right here okay so there we go and uh, i think we have uh didn't i put them in my backpack uh i thought i put some stuff in my backpack but i guess not okay well, let's go over here let's place all these down just so no villagers go in there and get stuck there we go it must be something with the item ids maybe oh man the villagers already back there this is not good oh yeah 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 you better stay back Oh, and let's put a block there. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, so now we need to get the, the saw. Cut that in half. Uh, actually, you know what? Cut, let's cut it like that. Can we like... Uh, I guess we can't cut it like... Can we really not cut it in half like that? I guess that just makes a regular slab, so what's the point, right? So there you go, and cut that in half. Like that. No, no, no. Like that. And then do that. Oh, there's the villagers stuck in here. What? Why are there villagers inside of here? Get out of here. What are you doing? Man, okay, well, I'll open up the trap door and you can get out of here. There you go. Get out. Get out. Go through the trap door. You're no. Oh, come on, villager. Really, really. God. People these days. Okay, there you go. Hopefully, no one comes through. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, there you place that down. Place that down. Place that down. And let's get this guy out of here. What is he even doing in here? Huh? So what is the trade, though? You know what? That's not that bad. You know what? We can keep him in inside of here. That's actually not that bad. He can, he, he can be the guy that sells apples. Yeah, that's not that bad. You know, one emerald for six apples? That's. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd buy that. <laughs> and that's saying something, because usually I'm pretty conservative with my emeralds and stuff. And diamonds and other stuff like that, so let's see. What are the other stuff? Oh, there's one right there. Still need to throw that one away, and I still... Are all these fixed? I think they are. I just need to get the, uh... How do you make the... Do you just put them like this, or... Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's how you repair them. Then you cut them in half vertically again. Cut them in half vertically again, and yeah, okay, that's about as thin as it's going to get. So we need to place down these awning supports back, where they were glitched out. Man, that was so weird, though. I don't know why it, why it did that, but leave a comment down below. What does that ender thing do? If it does something really cool, maybe I'll make some in the future, and we can actually check them out and see if we can do something really cool with them. Alright, so yeah, we had a support there, support there. Uh, we had a support here, too, but this one's, like, glitched, so we don't want to use that one right now. I'm pretty sure I had way more of them inside here. I guess we used them all or something. I have no idea, but eh, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, wait, I guess I can cut down. Cut this in half. Cut that in half. Oh, wait, cut that in half like that. And then cut that in half vertically. Yeah, there you go. And then there you go. All right, so here we go. This is way more enough to fix it. Let's put them all back like so. Little nice little support details right here. There you go. You're the Apple seller guy. I guess I can get him. He's, uh, he's literally the Apple store. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I know there was one right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, we got them all. All right, nice. So I guess we can get ourselves an item frame now. And you make those with, like, wool and sticks or something. So that's super cheap. We don't need to worry about that. There we go. A uh, little bit of wool and... Wait, that's a painting, right? 
How do you make an item frame? Hmm, I guess I can look that up real quick. Item frame. Let's see. Uh, yeah, 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 it's just, uh, same thing, but with leather. Okay, so we don't need wool, we just need a little bit of leather. Which may be some sort of flesh from one of BB's relatives. <gasps> ah, well, we do have some wood, uh, wood inside of here. Acacia, pretty expensive stuff. Don't know if I want to actually be using it, but whatever, there we go. And we have an item frame, just a singular item frame. Or item frame, not atom frame. And there we go, we get that apple. And we can just put this little item frame up on the Apple Store guy. And he's going to be selling some juicy apples here in a bit. Oh, and I need to put a little, little thing down there. Uh, there we go, all right. So let's see, uh, let's put that back there, and he has apples. Alright, so there you go, look at that! And then if we want to buy some apples, we just give him some emeralds, and then we can get ourselves some apples. Nice, look at that! Uh, maybe, hmm, yeah, whenever we sell him apples, he's going to unlock another thing, so I guess we can, uh, I guess we can put that one, hold on, let me, let me just cheat my way inside of there real quick. Let's get rid of this item frame, there we go, get rid of that one. We can put the apple here as his first sale, and then whenever his next one's opened up, it'll be like, I don't know, 10 wheat for like an emerald, he'll, he'll have an emerald right here, and you know, they'll, they'll say that he buys emeralds too. Or he trades emeralds, or like buys wheat or something, I don't know, I don't know what we're gonna do with that. Ooh, we still need to put down a little path going down there out of gravel, man those T-Rexes are so loud, jeez. I guess we can just dig this loud, little bit out, turn that in the gravel, this can be the start of our gravel path right here. There we go, this is actually taking shape right here. I really do like how this roller coaster's turned out thus far. It's really, it's really looking pretty good. Do we already have some gravel in our inventory? I don't know. Uh, maybe in our little pouch up here? Yeah, we don't have anything inside there. Man, our inventory is completely full. All right, let's go over here. Let's, uh, f I don't know, uh, throw some of those rails up there, I guess. <laughs> Man, this is such a terrible place to put all of our stuff. Uh, what were we going to do? Oh yeah, gravel. Let's grab some gravel, hashtag grab some gravel. Man, we're almost out of gravel too. Man, uh, let's, let's grab that second stack. Because we're going to be making a little pathway from here down to here. So we may need a little bit more gravel than we're actually anticipating. So let's put all this here just so it fits the theme of the gravel path that we got going on throughout the rest of the park. There we go. And I guess, I guess after we get this path nice and done, we can work on the roof of the uh, the markets over here, just so they look all nice and finished. And uh, maybe even put some apples in that guy's uh, little inventory. You know what? Let's put that. Let's put them back there, right? Uh, let's put some apples back there, <laughs> just so he has a little bit of an apple inventory. There you go. All right, let's uh, let's dig out there. Hey, how's it going, Colonel Sanders? How are you doing? All right, let's dig out a nice little pathway here that goes all the way up there. It doesn't have to be like too big. Not literally like too big. Eh. I guess, yeah, I guess it's just one block path should be enough. Since it's not like a main road or anything, or a main path or anything, so. Don't need to be too, too huge. And it can go from like here. And. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. Alright. So we just go around like this. Keep going down. And I need to replace all this with, uh, with dirt here in a second. Let's grab some of that dirt. Uh, dirt, not dirt. <laughs> Alright, let's put the dirt, or the gravel back like that. And the. Oh! Put the dirt down like that, put the gravel down like that, and now we have a nice little gravel path that we got going on here. Nice! Uh, was that gra- I guess that was. Yeah, there you go, alright. So this is what it looks like now. That's not bad. That's not even- that's not that bad at all. Yeah, look at that! What do you think, Colonel Sanders? Is that pretty good? I think it's pretty good. How's that? What about you, Steak? Oh, you laid an egg for Steaky there. <laughs> You know what we have to do every time we get an egg there, Colonel Sanders? I don't know if you're familiar with this tradition. Where'd he go? Oh, he's already hiding. He's already, he's already hiding. He knows what I'm going to do. Where'd he go? Uh, I don't have the minimap thing set on to see. Is he trying to roll, ride the roller coaster? I don't see him. <laughs> you must know. You must know what I'm trying to do here. Oh, there he is. Hey, how's it going, Colonel Sanders? Surprise! Oh, he, oh look at that! He's got a little chick! <gasps> He's got a little chick! Oh my god! Oh, man, I'm, uh, I don't have enough levels! <gasps> man, I want to name that- Oh, did we get levels from, uh, from wheat and stuff? Maybe we do? Uh, I don't think we do. Okay. Ah, oh, man, sour. What is an easy way to get levels? Because I want to name that little chick Nugget. <laughs> Just, you know, turn Colonel Sanders and Nugget, the little chick. What? What is an easy way of getting XP right now, other than fighting stuff? Because I don't want to- Hmm, I guess I could go all the way out here and kill kill some animals real quick. And I, I know I can go mining and stuff too and get some easy peasy levels like that. Let's go all the way over here just so our dinosaurs don't know. Ooh, there's a little bit of coal right here. I'm going to get that with my hammer. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, look at that. Pretty decent amount of levels right there. What about this? 
decent. Is that going? Is this? Uh, nope, not even up to level one. Not even up to level one right there. And there's lava right there too. Hmm. All right. Ooh. What about these? Oh man, took a little bit of damage. What about these things? Okay. Okay. These little fruit things don't drop any XP. Ah oh, man. Ah. I want to name that little thing Nugget so bad. Such a perfect name for a little baby chick. Hmm. There are pigs and stuff around here. Hopefully that it's not too too close. But what I think I'm going to do now is, oh man, there's cows here too. <laughs> what I think I'm going to do now is uh, try and get up to level 5, and then we can name that little baby chick Nugget. So I'll see you guys here in a bit. Oh, I'm on fire. Alright, I am back, and I have tons of food to go through inside the furnaces. I have, I think I have chicken and beef. No, I, I okay, I guess not. I guess I, did, I guess I didn't have enough uh, enough inventory space for the chickens that I murdered. But uh, there we go. We have a little bit more beef and pork chops and stuff, and I'm up to level seven now. So let's see where in the world is why in there? Why is there a random egg right there? Let's throw that thing on the ground. Oh I mean, I, th I thought I'd have some luck right there to get a little egg right there, but I guess not. Uh, let's get another name tag and let's name this guy Little uh, Little Nugget. So Nugget, the little baby chick. <laughs> Let's go find him real quick. Where is he at? Hopefully he's still over here, right? Uh, I'm not seeing Colonel Sanders. I'm not seeing Nugget over here either. I hear him. I definitely hear him. But I'm not seeing him. Oh, oh! There's Colonel Sanders right there. But where is the baby little Nugget at? Do I still have leads on me? Yes, I do. Okay. So if we find him, we can just bring him up here. But I am having no luck finding the little guy. Hopefully he didn't sneak into somewhere and he's he's getting murdered right now. Hopefully that's not the case. Maybe he's still oh ooh, he's still over here. Okay. How's it going, little nugget? Get over here. Up up there you go. Got that little lead on your face. Oh, it looks like he does not care that this lead is literally on his face. Let's get this lead back. Can I get that lead? There we go. Let's get this lead back. Come on, little baby chick. There we go. I guess that lead wasn't on very uh wasn't actually on the first time I tried it, so there you go. Is that oh oh you broke my lead. You broke my lead. Come over here, nugget. Eh, there you go, little nugget right there. <laughs> Leave this little chicken nugget. <laughs> All right, there we go. We have a little chicken nugget right there, and we have Colonel Sanders, of course, over here, just chilling out on the bridge. But uh, what I thought, whenever I came came back, was uh, I mentioned over here that I should continue working on the shops, and I still do have a little bit of acacia right here that I can put. Uh, I guess I can just put them right here. Yeah, there you go. And then we just need to get a little bit of jungle wood, and uh, we can get some jungle wood, no problem. Just gotta go all the way across the river, and uh, cut down a singular tree over here. Literally this tree. <laughs> then we'll be good to go. There you go. And we have enough jungle wood to continue working on the market stalls over there. So let's just do one roof so that uh, I can continue doing the other roofs off camera so it doesn't, you know, take a million years. So let's turn all that into jungle, and now it's all just jungle wood planks. And I, I don't know, I, 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 I guess maybe a... Uh, Hmm, let's see, what does this look like right now? Yeah, we can just, uh... Yeah, we can put a little roof like this on it. Yeah, there you go. That's what the, the ceiling is going to look like, at least. God, I gotta go cut down another tree. Uh, maybe maybe cut down like two or three trees, just so we have enough wood. So I don't have to come back if I uh, if I continue doing this off-camera. Man, they got rid of all the leaves over here, jeez. Let's cut down this tree. Man, this upstanding patch was fantastic. The only thing is that, uh... You need to, whenever you need to repair it, like I had to repair it off camera before recording. Uh, you need to like get the, the refined obsidian and you know, you have to use diamonds for that. And uh, of course combine it with a osmium, uh, osmium ingot I think? Osmium ingot? I think so, yeah. Cause it is mechanism. So there you go, and that's that nice and finished. So how do I want this to be? Do I want it to be a flat roof? Or do I want it to have some character? Maybe go a little bit like a, like a triangle shape. Hmm. I can definitely do something really interesting with the uh, the forged micro blocks, of course. But uh, hmm, I really don't know what I want to do right now. Huh? Okay. So all these roofs over here. Yeah, I, I guess I can get started on these roofs over here as well. Yeah. There you go. And that one's done. And I can. Uh, I have enough wood to continue over there too. But nah. Maybe not right now. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Almost just fell off the surface of the earth right there. All right, so what do I want to do here? I don't know. I really don't. These awnings. I did get some comments saying that uh, I should do some, like, forge microblock stuff with the awnings. Maybe even do, uh, hmm. Let's see, let's see. We still have some uh, carpenter's blocks over here, right? Uh, carpenter's stairs. Yeah, we still have some carpenter's stairs. Let's actually, before we work on the roof of that over there. Yeah, what are you doing, Nuggy? You following me around? You chilling out? You just adventuring around? Oh, he's getting stuck in that little... Oh, you better not get stuck in that little crevice area, little nugget. <laughs> okay, well, what I want to do here is, uh, I guess we can get some dirt. And, uh, oh, how do I, oh, there you go. I guess I do this. There you go. I don't need to hit the dirt all the way up there. Let's place down the, uh, the carpenter stairs, like so. Uh, there, oh, whoops, that is not, oh, that is not how I want to orientate this. There you go, and I guess I can do that. There you go. 
and place that like that. Oh, whoa, why did it do that? Place that like that. There we go, all right. Let's get rid of the dirt inside of here, and we need to place down the blue and the white, respectively. So, place down blue and the white here in the middle. How's that look? That looks fantastic. And does that look better? Does that look better, though? Leave a comment down below. What? Does it look better whenever it's like stairs? Or does it look better whenever it's like full blocks like this? I guess I'll convert the rest of the blue, uh, blue market stall over here just to see what it looked like. Uh, do we have enough carpenters to? Yeah, I guess we have enough to at least get started. We can throw our leads on the ground for now at least. Oh, for now at least. Oh, man, I'm a comedian. All right. Let's put down the rest of the stairs like so. And God, why does it keep placing it like that? I guess I'll place dirt inside of there. <laughs> to make it look like pure garbage. There we go. Uh, no one's gonna see that dirt, right? So there we go. And place the white. White. And let's go get that blue. Do we have the- yep, we have the blue in our inventory already. There we go. And we broke one like right here that we have to place back down. Uh, God, stop placing it on the side like that. Uh, come on, come on. And- oh, God, why is it- why is it still doing that? There we go. Oh, there you go. I got it. That's actually taking shape quite nicely. I really do like that. Maybe we can put a forge micro block right there, just uh, just so it kind of kind of lines up a bit, so it doesn't have a, a random like sharp crevice like right there. You know, I, if you guys like following what I'm doing right here, maybe. Okay, well let's just get rid of this up here as well. There we go, and we have enough for. Uh, I guess we can make more forge or uh, <laughs> make more stairs here in a bit. But there we go. That's what it looks like, and uh, we still have two wool. Why do we have two wool? Oh yeah, we still have the blue wool over here as well. Let's turn that blue into that. And let's go make ourselves some more carpenter stairs. Let's see what that would look like here in a second. Uh, yeah, okay, we have enough uh, carpenter's blocks to just convert them into stairs. So let's just do a little bit of that. And I know everyone's going to be yelling and screaming at me for my disgusting inventory right now. There we go, putting all that garbage up. And I don't think there's any... Uh, I guess I can get rid of all this glass, right? We have a lot of glass. I don't need all that glass. I casually have 34 blocks of iron in my inventory still, too. There we go. Get rid of all that. And a little bit of leather. And I guess I can get rid of all this redstone, gold, iron from crafting all that stuff. So a little bit of coal, too. So let's grab those carpenter's blocks. Or carpenter's stairs blocks, at least. And let's place these down. Hopefully it... God, why does it do that? I, I really don't like when it does that. Uh, I guess I'll place down the nit disgusting dirt. Hashtag disgusting dirt. And do that. And place down the stairs like so. And let's place down that. And place down the two wool. And that's what it looks like. Does that look pretty? I think it looks pretty decent, right? That looks pretty decent. Can we forge micro block the, uh... Hey, look at that nugget. What are you doing inside of here? You need to stay out of there just so you don't get in any trouble inside of here. I know you're probably going to, like, drown in the water over there. I don't know. Uh, I've had too many things drown in the water lately. Well, anyways, let's see. Uh, let's, let's try and do, tie some uh, stuff blue real quick. Tie this wool blue. Hopefully we can dye all of it blue. Because I think maybe you have to dye it back to white. Do we have enough wool? Didn't we just pick up some wool? Is that is, is that really... Oh, we have wool literally in our hand right now. <laughs> Alright, is that... Yep, there you go. Blue wool. And can we cut that in half with the thing? Oh, you can't. Look at that. Look at that. And then we can cut them in half like that. Right? Yeah, like this. And then we cut those in half on the side like that. There we go. That's what's going to give us these little little blocks right here. So there you go. Can we place these inside here even with that little... Oh, we can. Look at that. See, that's kind of what I was going for. What do you guys think of that? Hmm. I guess if anything... Hmm. Ah. Uh, you know, the only thing is that the, uh, the acacia right there is kind of in the way. Because, you know, the awning goes like right there. So if we get rid of that, place that like that. I don't know what we'd do right here. Maybe put, uh, put jungle wood blocks right there? I don't know. Hmm, that's definitely going to be something here in a bit. But, uh, let's place down the rest of these, like so. And then we can bone meal them, turn them white, and, uh, that's what they'll look like, I guess. We can get rid of this one as well. Yep, there you go. And, uh, this is going to be quite the decorating if you, uh, if you guys really do want me to make them, make them look like these, uh, cool little stair blocks like this. But I really do like it. It looks, it looks really good. I don't know, ah, compared to that, you know, it's just easy peasy, no problem with blocks, but over here it has way more detail. Alright, so back to making the roof over here, I don't know, I, I really don't know what I want to do with it, I kind of want to just move it back to like that, and uh, just put regular blocks there, you know, just kind of have a flat roof, nothing fancy, let's just see how that looks right now. You know what, that's, it looks pretty bad, it, <laughs> it does look pretty bad, but uh, hmm, what if I move it back to regular, pre- pre-roof 
status. Because this would add like two layers of blocks if I kept it like that. And what if I just kept it like this? But kept the awning like that? Because you know, regular awnings, they don't, they're not usually flush with the roof anyways. I don't know if I like that. Hmm, if anything, maybe. Huh, let's see, we still have the slope blocks. What if we put the slopes like that? What if we put the slopes like that and then color them in blue? Just on the corners here. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know, I, I, I guess I'll keep it like that, just to see how, what it looks like. Uh, let's, let's convert this, actually, speaking of slopes, let's convert this to a slope. See how that would look? Yeah, not like that. Uh, like that. Hmm, yeah, it looks stupid. <laughs> it really does look stupid. Uh, I guess I'll just keep it like this. I really don't know what I want to do here for this roof. I guess I'll decide uh, later, maybe off camera, just so I don't waste too, many too much time. If you guys have any idea for this roof, like for this small little market shops right here, leave a comment down below. I really, I'm really stuck. I'm really torn on what I should do, but I did cut down another acacia tree. So I should be able to get these corners all nice and filled. Yep, 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 here we go. All nice and filled in. And, uh, man, there's so many of them. Um, what is with these villagers behind here? How'd they get back there? What? What? What about the ones over here? Oh, yeah, they're still crowding around this guy's shop, which is completely empty. What about the Apple guy over here? Why don't you guys come over to the Apple store? Maybe buy yourself an iPhone or something. Hmm? Uh, I guess not. Uh, I guess they're Android fans or something. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I showed off the roller coaster. This is where it came out to. Uh, what do we want to do with it next? Like for the uh, because I obviously don't want it to go all the way back down there already just yet. I do want to make it go all the way throughout the park. I guess maybe just circle around the herbivore area. Maybe maybe do this. Maybe do that, and then it can come around like that. So we can go around to my house ish. Do we still have a? Yeah, we still have a little bit of jungle wood. Not too much. I can't fill this in with rails. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, I still have a ton of rails. Man, I still- I have acacia up there, too. And a bunch of jungle, too. Man! I had a bunch of stuff in my- uh, in my parcel this whole entire time, and I didn't even know it. Jeez. Alright, let's go over here. Let's go all the way over to the very beginning of the herbivore area. I don't know. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Right? No, that's- I can't really tell. One, two, three. Okay. I kind of have it- I don't want to have it too- close to the edge. I kind of want to have it like you're still inside of the herbivore area. So maybe like here is this uh oh yeah, this is perfect. All right. Let's go all the way over here. You can you can see the roller coaster from the inside of my house though. Oh, we're out of planks, but thankfully I still have a ton of stuff inside here. Let's convert all these into planks, jungle wood planks of course. And uh we can convert them into regular rails or uh put redstone here and then put rails here later. But for right now, let's just get a general outline of what's going on here. Now, God, I'm already run out of jungle wood. Gee, that was so fast. Man, where is all of our jungle wood going? I guess we could put it in the sawmill. And get way more, get like uh, six per thing. Oh, wait, I still have jungle wood like right there. <laughs> we could put it in the sawmill and get six per craft or per log instead of four. But eh, eh, that'll take a little while to put inside there. But we do have an extra stack that I just happened to find in my parcel right there. So let's just go all the way to the edge over here. Let's see what it looked like when it comes all the way out here. And then maybe even if we have enough block. Yeah, oh, oh, that's nowhere near enough for right now. Oh, man. How high is this going to get? This is, the ground's getting pretty close to the uh, to the roller coaster right now. I hope it doesn't get too, too close. I want to have a little bit of room for the road coaster just in case any dinosaurs get stuck under it. They don't start suffocating like the T Rexes over there did, uh, and I had to raise it up one more block. So, this is where it comes out to with all the jungle wood I have. And, uh, oh, I have. Oh, oh, watch out! I have a singular piece of jungle wood. Oh, oh you guys want to watch out for that thing. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. That's where it comes out for uh, two right now. I can cut down this, get a little bit more acacia. And yeah, this shouldn't, this shouldn't interfere too badly with the roller coaster. When it just comes out to here. I don't I don't want it to have any fancy stuff when it comes to the herbivore area, no. I kinda wanna leave that to where it's like outside of dinosaur areas. Kinda like in the T-Rex area where it just went straight. It didn't really do anything fancy, so uh, you know, just so it just so it's you know, not in the way of uh not in the way of the dinosaurs. Don't really disturb them very much. But whenever it's outside, oh that is no holds bars. You can have you can have loop de loops even though you can't even technically make them. You can have little falling off the thing and catch you on rails like I don't even care. But whenever it's inside of here, I just wanna have it like as a straight little thing so you can just uh, enjoy the view see all the dinosaurs, and we haven't even come out to this general area in quite a while. I kind of want to check up on the dinosaurs that we laid here a million years ago. Lip tip the um, DI is still sitting now, and I don't know where he is. He's still over here. Yup, up oh, there he is. There you go, you're not sitting anymore. Okay, so I guess he's not glitched inside of that block anymore. Look at him hippity hop over there, look at that. Look at him hippity hopping. Wow, look at that guy. <laughs> oh, whoa, well, please stop. Oh, oh, 
Is he is he glitching and blocked? Okay, he's not. Okay. He's just looking at the villagers. They're strange creatures he hasn't seen his whole entire life because he's been glitched inside of a block. But uh, let's see if there's anyone stuck inside of the meteor. Hopefully not. Okay, good. Okay, good. Good stuff. All right. Uh, still a bunch of naked sheep over here that we sheared a while ago. But I'm not seeing any more dinosaurs. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Little Gallima Mima Mima Mimuses. And uh, <laughs> a random little mammoth a perched atop this tiny little hill right here. Look at this little guy. Wow. And I'm not really seeing any more dinosaurs. I guess they all just kind of just hanging out over here by the river. Just hanging out with the other dinosaurs that are already over here. Hmm. Okay, well, there you go. I think that's going to be it for this episode, so let me know what you guys think about the roller coaster thus far. I really do like how it's turning out right now. It's, it's turning into a really good little both ride and a little tour of the Jurassic Park so far. So that's turning out pretty nicely. And you know what? Let's let's end it by riding it real quick. So let's get the roller coaster out again, or the my car out again. Let's ride on this thing right real quick just for the outro so anyways thank you guys all very much for watching if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below and we're going to be going down oh, oh look at this we're going to fall down hopefully it works right here oh yep 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 no problems right there <laughs> and if you guys want more of these awesome videos be sure to hit that subscribe button i'll put my latest videos on our youtube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode i still need to fill those up with water so hopefully they won't look so so barren uh, i still need to put them put water in there as well as the coral and kelp and stuff as well as the actual tyosaurus and the coelacanths but here we are riding through into the t-rex area they're all just still just screaming at the tyosaurus and the coelacanths over there man what, I, I still don't know what they're doing over there man and of course over here this is where it's going to take you to the herbivore oh <laughs> I was about to say, like, why did it stop right there? But I didn't even fill in uh, the rest of the tracks right there. But that's where it's going to take you to the herbivore area. And I guess I'll just fill in the tracks here on my own. So thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Jurassic World. And leave some comments about the, the, the markets over there. I still don't know what I want to do with that. Hmm. Yeah, really, really peculiar stuff going on over there. Really, really indecisive as to what I want to do over there. What is that chicken down here? Is that, is that nugget? Is that nugget all grown up? Is that? You can't really see. Oh, it is. Look at that nugget grew up. Nugget grew up in the entirety of this episode. Look at that. So thank you guys all very much for watching. And me and Nugget and uh, we're in the world as Colonel Sanders. <laughs> we'll see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there.